The cavern was cold. Even in the slow energy flux of the translator's alien mechanisms, the quarks did not feel the near absolute zero cold, but was aware of it as it awakened to the silence of a still world. Its first impression was not of place, but of time. Vast corridors of time through which it had floated. What did millions of years mean when one was asleep? When one's life process was held like a cup of electrons in the hands of an angel? What did the passage of time mean? Except that once more, all the mortal lives it had known were gone. Awakening was difficult and confusing. There was so much to remember and so much more to learn. The Quarks's translator had anticipated its confusion and was ready with information and explanations, not too much at once, but enough. They were in the planetary system of a yellow sun, though at such a remove that the sun was a mere fleck of light in the sky.